Welcome back to another sexual, creepy, fucking weird episode of the Kicks and Giggles podcast. This is a classic. I love talking about weird shit. Um, I love to get, I love to get weird. I love to get fucking weird. So when it comes to sex, I'm all in. When it comes to talking about sex, I'm all in. Uh, the first version of this podcast, this I did a Would You Rather sex edition before. And it did fucking great numbers. Um, usually all the sexual episodes do really great. And then when it's me talking about like deep shit or like talking about quarantine, nobody gives a fuck. So which is rightfully like, hey, I'm not complaining. Understood. Um, I would listen to a sex po- podcast 10 times before I'd listen to like a deep philosophical fucking show. So, hey, I get it. I just like to throw those episodes out there so you guys know that I'm, I got a, I got different fucking flavors. I'm not just a vanilla fucking person. I I really like um, that the that this podcast has turned into a more more of a raunchy raunchy thing, but um, or like consistently raunchy episodes because that's fucking who I am. But yeah, I, I got to throw in like let's talk about quarantine. Let's talk about UFC. Like I I try to do that so I can spice things up sometimes, but. Let's let's be real. These are the best po- fucking episodes that I do. So if you're here, I you're probably gonna stay the whole time because you'll enjoy this one. Um, this is a Would You Rather Sex Edition Part Two. Obviously, I told you guys last week that I would throw in some more fun episodes like this. So I'm really excited to read this fucking list. Last time though, on the first episode, I had you guys submit questions, and you know it was like, Would you rather fuck your sister or your mom? And I answered them, and it was fucking awkward. So if you want to, fe- if you like this episode and you want to see more, and you haven't seen the first one, then just go back and check out the part one. Um, this time, though, instead of having you guys submit the questions, I found them all online. I found a fucking list. It's like WouldYouRatherQuestions.com. So if anybody wants to play along or go take these questions to your group of friends or your family, uh, would you rather? It's would you, not y o u. It's just you. And then ratherquestions.com. And this is a list of like a hundred of them. I don't know if we're going to get through all of them, but we're going to see what we could do. If they're lame, I'm just going to skip them. Um, So we're just going to rip through these here. Also, um, if you guys are listening and you haven't left a rating on the iTunes app, on the the little podcast logo, it's purple on your iPhone, tap that, type in kicks and giggles, write a review, leave a fucking five star if you enjoy the show. If not, then I'll go fuck myself. Uh, first one, would you rather send nudes to a stranger or send nudes to your ex? See, now, but actually when I did this, I had a girlfriend. So I kind of, I didn't, I kind of like sugarcoated the answers a little bit. I tried to be honest as fuck, but I'm sure that I had a little bit of an influence on them. This time I'm doing it single, so it might be a little bit different. I might have a different perspective on these questions. Um, send nudes to a stranger, nudes to an ex, nudes to an ex. If anything, if I send nudes to a stranger, that's like rapey and like stalkery and like a creepy as fuck. And they could like get a restraining order and they could they could take it the whole wrong way. Even though I'm not trying to be like that, I'm just doing it for a fucking would you rather. People are gonna take that really wrong. So and it's like fucked up. It's it is wrong. So um, yeah, nudes to an ex. Because if I just texted my ex, picture my dick. I don't even th- I don't even know what they would say. Any of them, they would be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I'd just be like, "Sorry," and then we get over it. They wouldn't be so shocked because they'd seen it. They'd seen it before. Um, next one: Would you rather get oral or give oral? I don't. Ca- I'd rather give. I don't care. Like, it doesn't. Oral sex is fucking great and all that, but I can. I've honestly come to the. I'm. I've. I've come to the fucking fact, the realization that I in, in bed, I really don't care for you to do me. I'm all about you, and that's kind of it. I get off on you getting off. If you don't get off and I'm trying to get you off, then I'm so disappointed in myself that I don't even want you to touch me. So I'm really, I'm really cooperative, like dependent in bed. I need the other person to, like I need to make sure that I'm, fucking satisfying you in order to be satisfied. Um, next one, would you rather, this is fucked. I can't even believe this is on the internet. Would you rather sleep with someone twice my age or a minor? So I'm 21. Would I rather sleep with someone that's 42 or just say fucking rape someone? 
I'm going to go with the 42 year old. Uh, I hope everybody would. I don't know. Like, unless you're seven years old and it's like, oh, am I 14 or am I that? I guess. I don't know who's fucking when they're 14. Well, I don't know who's fucking when they're seven. That question shouldn't even be on there. Would you rather sleep with a MILF or, or fucking rape someone? Uh, rather, I would go with the MILF. Next one. Would you rather touch yourself in private or in the presence of the, your significant other? What the fuck? Um, okay, listen to this. This is a weird thing. On Pornhub, I'm always fucking looking to check out new shit, right? And because, especially lately, because I don't want to like only get off to two fucking things. I want to be able to like look at, I, I was watching lesbian porn and honestly, I don't, I'm not a big lesbian porn guy, but like, what the fuck is that shit? Like I, I, I watched it and I couldn't even get off and that's fucked up. Like, what is that shit towards my own self? Cause most guys love to watch like two incredibly good looking women fucking have sex. And I'm sitting there like watching it. Like this is sick, but I don't, I didn't like get turned on by it. So that's how you know you have a problem. Um, Cause I need to, I need to like, I always watch my same two categories. It's like fucking foot fetish or MILF and that's it. And that's the only things I really get turned on by. And I've done that for so long that now I literally could watch like some like BDSM or some fucking lesbian and it's like, it's hot, but it's not, I'm not like crazy and want to get off to it. So I'm trying to reroute my porn thing. But what I, why I brought that up is because sometimes I'm scrolling on Pornhub and you just see like the fucking featured ones and there's videos of guys that will be in a parking lot. Literally, it's type in jerking off in public on Pornhub. The guy will be in like a Walmart pub like parking lot and he's like just jerking off and he says like, girl almost sucks my dick. And then you click the video and you just see in the window, there's like a woman walks by and she's like, and you could just tell they're so like grossed out. So I don't know if that's almost sucking his dick, but someone will like knock on the window and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Put your dick away. And then the guy types in the description like, she wants me. She's talking to my dick. So I don't know. That's just fucked. So to answer the question, I, I know that, that it, that's not what they mean. They mean, would you rather touch yourself in your room in private or do it with your significant other. Honestly, I'd rather do it in public or in private. Um, like, I don't want to jerk off and have you watch me. I'm not really into that. Like, if you want to help, sure. You want to watch? No, thanks. Um, would you rather give a lap dance or a strip tease? Let me tell you guys, I've never had a lap dance. I've never been into that whole thing. Uh, and I fucking won't ever be into that. Because lap dance, like... You want to like rub your ass on me while you have clothes on? No, thanks. I'll just, I'll just sit and watch TV or something. And a strip tease, like, do we get to fuck at all or no? Because if it's not, I don't like to be teased. I'm not like, who wants to be teased? It's hot. But if that's the end goal, the conclusion is you're going to be teased. No, I like to be teased if I'm going to be fucking rewarded after. Number six, would you rather be horny all the time or never be able to have an orgasm? I literally am horny 90% of the time in my entire life. So I'm going to go with the horny all the time one. Would you rather have a one night stand with someone really attractive or someone really skilled in bed? This is a great fucking answer because the, okay, listen, listen, from my own experience, I've been with the fucking nine and a half. I've been with the girl that everyone thinks is so fucking hot in school and everyone's dying a fucker. And I've also been with the girl that is like a sleeper. Like not a lot of people think she's that hot, but she's great in bed and she like knows what she's doing. I've had a girl that I literally thought was like seven out of 10 attractive, which is still fine, but I wasn't crazy attracted to her. And the fact that she like blew my mind in bed made her like, by the time we were done having sex, I was like, holy fuck, she's amazing. She's fucking, now she's a nine out of 10. Like it changed that. So it does kind of matter. Um, and for a one night stand, you know, on Tinder, when you're swiping right and left, if people only go for the girls that are super hot and then you get let down once they come over, when they come over and they're a 10 out of 10 and guys do this too. So this is not only females, but the guy or girl will be hot as fuck, right? 
10 out of 10. You get in bed, you're making out. The guy, for, for women out there, guys don't know how to grab you right. They're fucking limp hands. They're making out and they're fucking acting weird. They're not making a move on you. By the time they actually fuck you, they missionary for two minutes, come. You didn't get to finish it all. You're not even that fucking wet. And they don't know what they're doing. On the flip side, girls, or whatever the fuck you're into, whatever, um, a girl comes over and a woman... And you start fucking hooking up and she looked really hot, 23 years old, fucking gorgeous girl on, on Tinder, comes over, hooking up, and she just gives like the lay down and fucking do whatever you want. And I'm not into that. You know, like you're hot, but if you just lay there in doggy style and you're just like, fuck me, do you can do all the work. I'll just fucking sit here. Like that sucks. So I would take the skilled in bed over the the 10 out of 10, you know, really attractive or skilled in bed. If it's a one night stand, I like, all I want is to have good sex. I don't, I'm not trying to marry you and I'm not trying to like pursue this. So I would go with the skilled in bed. Would you rather have your parents? I don't like shit that has to do with my parents. Um, would you rather masturbate all day or have sex all day? Literally anyone that says masturbate all day has problems because the answer is you should have sex all day. Would you rather have the lights on or off during foreplay? I'm a lights on kind of guy. Um, I don't know why. It's just kind of like hotter. Like during, I don't even care. During sex, lights on. Like I want to see what I'm doing. It kind of makes it hot for me. Like if we're in a pitch black room and we're fucking, that's great. But I can't see anything that's going on because we're fucking underneath the blankets. And... Then you you get led on to like, that's when you have the lights off, you're kind of playing with like, you better know where the fucking clit is because otherwise you're fucked. So I like to know that I'm not going to make a weird mistake and like accidentally fucking touch the side of your leg instead of your vagina. So I like to play it safe, keep the lights on. It also makes it hotter for me. I like to watch POV porn a lot. So I'm very into like watching it happen. Um... So yeah, I'm going to go with firm answer. I would rather have the lights on. Next question is, would you rather have group sex with strangers or all of your exes? Holy shit. Um, all of my exes would be fucking awesome. I would love to, you know what? One day I want to call them all up after a couple of years, after this fresh one, it's still a bit tender, but after a couple of years when both parties are ready to move on and be friends, I would love to call him and be like, hey, will you guys do my show? Or like, fucking, let's do an episode together. Let's talk about it. I'm not going to shoot for the orgy there. I know that none of them would like each other either. I already know two of them fucking hate each other. And I know one of them hates how the other two were. So it would be really fun. And if any of you three are listening, uh, one day, I hope that you are open to that idea. Because I would love to make that happen. And we don't even have to go with the orgy. But to answer this question, I would love to go for the orgy. Um, also, if any of my axes are still listening and you're up for doing that, let me know. Because maybe, maybe we'll make it happen. Um, next question. Would you rather only have sex in the bedroom or never have sex in the bedroom? This was on the last one. I would rather only have sex in the bedroom. I don't like car sex. I don't want to fuck you up against a wall at like a, outside of a restaurant. I don't want to go in a field. I, I just want to have sex in a bed. Is that too much to fucking ask? Would you rather have early morning sex or late night sex? This is a good question because there's two different types of people. There's a type of person that will wake up next to you. Their breath smells like fucking shit and they're sweaty and oily and they just want to get fucked and they don't care. They'll make out with you. You ever had the person that turns over and makes out with you in the morning? What the fuck is your, like, what are you thinking? Do you just make out with dog shit? I don't, I, know, I don't know about other people, but I know that my breath isn't that great in the morning. I know that if I were to like fucking breathe in my hand and smell it, it would be like, okay, let's brush our teeth. I don't know what happens. I don't know why that's a thing that the human body, what happens in my mouth that I could go from minty and fucking brush my teeth and great to like dog shit within eight hours of closing my mouth. Whatever's going on there. I don't like that. Uh, and I'm actually the type of person that if I have someone sleep over, if I wake up in the middle of the night, which thank God I have fucking insomnia a little bit, because I'll wake up at like 7 a.m. 
I'll run to the bathroom and brush my teeth and come back in bed just to ensure a little bit that it's going to smell better. Um, and I'll get up, I'll get up right away. The second we're both up, I'll brush my teeth because I don't want to put you through that unless we're just talking and we're kind of like fucking doing this and we're like staying far away from each other. Yeah, I'll talk, but I don't like that. I like late night, come over at fucking nine o'clock. Let's watch a movie. Let's have some sex, eat some pizza, have some good food. That's it. You know, I, I don't, I'm not big on morning sex. I wake up. If you got to go, go. I'll fucking beat off or something. Um, I will say though, morning horniness is is way higher than nighttime horniness. Nighttime horniness is kind of forced and like expected and like pr it's so much pressure, which I, I'm okay with. But for all the guys out there, you know that like when you wake up and you're fucking rock hard, there's nothing that like there's nothing stopping you, you know. But when it's nighttime. You're kind of horny, but you have to really pull it out. You really have to like force yourself. You have to like go turn on porn, fucking find a video or sex a girl that you like or get someone over. You have to do a lot. When you wake up and you're just already there, it's kind of nice. Let's see. Number 16, would you rather be the submissive? Okay. Would you rather be the submissive partner during sex or the dominant? Oh, dominant. Okay. Kinky sex or romantic sex? Uh, I like to think that romantic sex should be kinky. I think that it's really special when you're like doing everything slow and taking your time. But when you fucking like do something weird in the middle of that, I think it's like so hot. Like if you're having slow sex and all of a sudden she like fucking you spit in her mouth and slap her in the face. It's so like not expected that it's kind of like, all right, I could get into that. It's either one way or the other. You got to be like straight up. Do you like kinky slow sex or vanilla? Because some people like the fact that it's vanilla because it's like romantic sex. I don't know. Um, dude, these questions are fucked. Would you rather have sex with a corpse or never have sex again? Uh, if I have sex with a corpse, do I get to keep fucking alive people? Because that's the only way that it would kind of kind of change things. Have sex with a corpse and then I get to keep having sex with people that are alive. That's hard. Or never have sex again. Oh, fuck. That's so gross. I don't even know if it's okay if I admit that on the podcast, but I guess I'd have to have sex with a corpse. Just, I'd have to just do it and, and just pretend that they're alive. Pretend that they're just not into me at all. And they don't give a fuck. They're not moaning. They're not doing anything. They just could give two fucks. Oh, God. Um, would you rather your girl saw a video of you and your cousin or you and her best friend? Oh, man. Yeah, because imagine like, dude, she's my cousin, babe. I didn't think it was a big deal. Like you could kind of just play that one off as like you're, du you're dumb as fuck and you didn't know that it was wrong. Oh, fuck. That's my... Wait, I can't do that? Babe, I didn't know. Or... You got to go with like, you fucked my best friend. You fucking low life piece of fucking shit. Girls always like to really fucking cut you down when they're mad at you. You fucking low life skinny ass football head. It's so easy to, for a girl to roast me because they could just unleash everything they've wanted to say. You fucking pay your nails. What are you? Are you gay or straight? What the fuck is that? You're skinny as fuck. You never work out. Your foot, your head looks like a football. God, like when I get roasted, it's like, it's just all of a sudden like getting bullied as a fucking little kid again, even though I never really got bullied, but I, I'd imagine that's what it's like. Girls really fucking dig it deep. You're, they'll bring up your fucking parents, your fucking, really? Cause the last girl you're with said, like, you don't fucking know that. They just make shit up. God. Um, so I'm going to go with the cousin. No, I'd have to go with the best friend cause the cousin is so fucked up because then you get like, then it's different. Oh, you're a cousin fucker. That's what you're into. You want to go fuck your mom too, weirdo? It's like, okay, fine. I'll take the best friend one. Rip me for that. I don't want to be ripped for having sex with family members. So it's a little too fucked. Um, this is a good one. Would you rather date someone with a ridiculously high body count or someone curious about your body count? Oh, would I rather date someone that's super high body count or that's curious about mine. Oh, I don't know. I don't fucking care. Like, 
you want to know how many people I've slept with? Go ahead and fucking ask. And if you don't like the number, then see you later. <laughs> like, you know what I don't like? Here's a big thing. I don't like people that judge on stupid shit like that. Oh, you've had sex with 45 people. Well, I'm never going to have sex with you and you're a piece of shit. Like, no, actually, I'm probably great in bed and I'm going to fucking rock your world and you have no idea the shit that I've done. Like, that's the truth is it's just experience. So if someone's had sex with 50 people, you want to call them a slut, sure, but they're probably great in bed and they probably really know what they're doing. So it's like, it's almost hotter when they've had sex with more people. Now, at the same time, is it intimidating to date someone that is a high number? Yeah, incredibly. Uh, because that shows that they have learned to take the emotion button and just completely shut it off when it comes to sex. And if you're someone that really loves to feel things during sex and you really like, that's a time where you open up and your fucking emotions are just let out, then you might not like having sex with someone that has a high body count because of that. But in my, my opinion, I literally don't care. High body count, I'd probably go with the high body count because at least I know that it's going to be some good sex and they're not going to sit there and get insecure about my shit the whole time. Um, but it's, they're not wrong for getting insecure. It's just I would rather choose the fun sex. Would you rather have a sugar mama who acts, asks for sex a lot or one who asks for nudes a lot? Um, probably nudes because even though it's hot, Sometimes it, it ruins it when they want you too much. You know, I, for me personally, I love when a girl is like, when a female, I don't like to say girl, I don't fucking like that word. I love when a woman is like down to like make sure that I don't get to fuck them because then it's like a challenge, you know? Um, and I, I can appreciate someone that's horny, but if you're too horny that you're like, come on, fuck me, please come over. And I'm like, I was just there. And she's like, come back. Then it's almost like, okay, enough. I'm fucking not interested. So it's weird. And that's a hard thing because it's like you want to show your partner that you're really into them, but you have to kind of play a game of like, you know what? We'll do it next week or we'll fucking, let's wait two days. I kind of like that. And shout out to fucking the girl that I dated at the end of high school because she was awesome with all that. She would literally like, nope, you don't get it for this week. And I'd be like, why? Just because you don't. And I'd be like, okay. And then she'd be like, let's go on this date and let's do this and let's go fucking walking. And she really opened my mind up to like doing nice things together um, rather than just fucking because anyone could lay down and fuck and turn on a movie and do that every night and have a great relationship because it's you're having fun. It's instantly gratifying, but you're not really stretching the relationship for like what it can be. And you're not really even stretching anything besides your fucking vagina. So... Yeah, I would rather do the uh, nudes a lot because even though sex is great, it could get too much and it could really turn me off. And a nude, I could just fucking whip my dick out and take a picture. It's a lot less effort. Um, would you rather make out in the dark or make out in public? I like I like PDA shit. Is that what it's called? Public display of affection, I think. I love that. I don't know why. I'm all in to like, if we're sitting down and we're out to eat, like I'll fucking... With my long ass arms, I'll grab you under the table. I like to do weird shit like that. Um, I'm all for like, I, don't, I haven't really been to bars, but if I'm in a bar, I would hook up with someone in the middle of everyone. Like I'll fucking bring your leg up and finger you while we're making out. I don't care who's around us. I don't care. Because for me, when I see people doing that, it literally makes me happy. It brings fucking endorphins into my brain. I don't know how that works. I don't even know what endorphins are. But I try to use the word, and maybe I used it right. It makes me happy, though. I'm like, fuck yeah, good for those people. Like, I, I feel good. So I want to bring that. I want to bring that energy into other people's lives. If they see some like skinny fucking goth kid hooking up with some super hot chick, I'd hope people are like, good for that motherfucker. You know. So I, I would do it. I, I don't care about that. I'm, I'm, and making on the dark is just, again, lights on is great. Lights off is. It could be anyone, you know, lights off is scary because then you can literally, there's a, there's an episode for all you black mirror fans out there and anyone who hasn't seen black mirror, please turn on black mirror. It's on uh it's on fucking Netflix. There's an episode called the entire history of you. It's like one of the first episodes. Um, and 
the fucking, the show is unbelievable, okay? In this episode, it's all about, like, this girl's had an ex-boyfriend, this guy had an ex-wife, and they're trying to make their, their relationship work, but in this fucking fantasy world, they have these contacts that you could put in, and you can watch your old memories with people, okay? You can literally, like, go on your TV and, like, scroll through your old memories and then play them, and you can watch your... You could watch you having sex, like, from your po point of view, having sex with, like, your ex-girlfriend from four years ago. And in this episode, there's a part where... They're both laying down fucking and their eyes are like, sh like, it looks like they almost have like cataracts or some shit. Their eyes are like covered in this film and their faces are like no emotion. And they're sitting there fucking and like watching these like old videos of them with their exes. That fucking episode fucked me up so bad and made me think like, holy shit, every time I'm in bed with someone with the lights off, like they could just be doing that kind of, you know, not literally, but. They could be like sitting there envisioning like, oh my God, this is fucking Daryl and he's fucking me again like he used to. And like, nope, it's me, and but thanks. Um, so yeah, lights on. Let's keep the lights on. Or at least have some light. I want to be able to see you. I don't like pitch black fucking. That's not my shit. Um, would you rather have to pay for sex or be paid to have sex? Uh, paid to have sex for sure. I'd rather you give me a couple hundred bucks and I fucking don't mind the fact that I'm not attracted to you at all than like I'm giving you money because I'm so fucking sad. Like, you know what I mean? I think there's a lot to paying for sex that people don't really bring up. But it's also like kind of obvious so you don't have to bring it up. But yeah, I'd rather be paid. Would you rather take off your partner's underwear with your teeth? Okay, not into all that. Like, that's just weird. It's fun. I'm into taking off my partner's underwear with my teeth, but like, or have them take off yours. Like, who gives a fuck? Um, would you rather suck at foreplay or suck at sex? This is a big one. A lot of people would say suck at foreplay. I would pick I'd rather suck at sex because uh, foreplay can last like 40 fucking five minutes. You can do so much with foreplay. There's so many different things you could do. And I've been like, I've made sure that my foreplay game is so fucking strong because even though I think that my sex game is strong as well, at least I know that I can get you turned on incredibly. And then the end, like it's easier to fucking, I don't know. It's, I can't make an analogy cause I'm too fucking dumb, but it's easier to like, if, okay. Foreplay is 90% of sex and sex is 10%. If the sex is bad, but you got me fucking horny as fuck for 45 minutes, I'm only going to remember, like if the sex is five minutes and the foreplay lasted 45 minutes, the foreplay was so fucking good that I don't even care about the sex at this point. That's how I would look at it, you know? Um, I So I would take that. And for me, like if you're really good at giving head and like cuddling, I don't know, there's not really foreplay for a guy. I don't know, yeah, giving head and, like, you're great with your hands and, like, you're willing to do weird shit. I'd rather have that than, like, you great at riding dick, you know? So, because sex is only so, there's only so much to sex. Your dick is in a vagina, and that's it. And there's, like, 25 positions. So, I don't know. That's just me, though. I also am a big foreplay guy because I like to tease each other. And I, I'm the type of person that's, like, I'll spend 40 minutes teasing the fuck out of you and then not even have sex with you just to be like an asshole. Um, but also it's like an asshole in a hot way. Would you rather be someone who loves to No, I'm not doing that one. Have multiple orgasms that weren't so good or just one terrific orgasm. I always shoot for one. Well, yeah, I always shoot for one terrific orgasm. I'd rather you edge me and like we fucking tease each other and I like pull out and like, fucking go down on you for a little bit to like give my dick a second um, rather than just like every time like coming every fucking five minutes because it's like kind of good but it's not it's not a grand finale I'm a grand finale type of guy um, and especially for the girl I'd rather like rather than just making you come four times I'd rather like tease you and then get a big squirting orgasm so sorry that's really fucking vivid but what did you think was going to happen in this episode 
Would you rather pick someone up from a nightclub or from a bar? This is an interesting, I get an interesting answer for this one. I would rather pick up someone from a bar because at a bar, you're sitting down, you got your clothes on, you're just laughing, maybe you're moving around a little bit, dancing a little bit. At a club, there are so many fucking people around you, you're sweating your ass off, you're fucking, I don't know what's going on with your body fluids, but they're all over the place. Uh, And on top of that, everyone else is bumping into you and touching you, that it's so dirty for me. I really don't even know if I could take a girl home from a nightclub. I would have to be like, while we're dancing and I'm talking to her, trying to pick her up, I'd have to be like, hey, you're going to have to shower when we get back to my place. Is that cool? And if she's like, fucking why? Then I'd be like, never mind. It's a personal thing. I'll find someone else. Because <laughs> you got to shower. I don't even like when a girl comes home from work and we fuck. Like, I'll do it. But fuck, man. Especially with this COVID shit. It's hard. I want you to shower first. Am I fucking wrong for that? Um... Would you rather sleep with your best friend's parent or your parent's best friend? Oh, wow. Um, I'm going to go with best friend's parent because uh, it's probably a little bit hotter and a little bit more evil to know that, like, now I got the leverage on this kid. Like, if, if you ever piss me off, that's fine. I'll go fuck your mom again. Try me, pal. I think I, I feel like I've said the same thing on my podcast before. Have I said that before? Um, I don't know. Would you rather have loud? Oh God. Loud and rough sex while your grandparents were in the next room or your parents? Well, I'm going to fucking smart outsmart this question. I go with my grandparents because hopefully they don't hear as well. So they'll, they're not going to hear it as much as my, my parents would, you know? Here's a couple more. All right. This is the, this is like a new section. It says the following dirty section. Or sexual would you rather questions are for guys only. Okay. Would you rather... Okay. Would you rather have sex with Rihanna or Shakira? Rihanna. I don't really know what Shakira looks like. But I know what she sounds like. And she's annoying as fuck. And I I couldn't get into that. Like her sound of her voice during sex. Nah. Now the next one is... If you were to have sex with a guy... Would you sleep with Justin Bieber or Nick Jonas? I would have to go with Nick Jonas because... Justin Bieber is so immature. Like, have you ever gone on his TikTok account? And, like, the shit that he does is so lame. Like, I'm not into that. Like, if I was gay, I want a guy... That, I mean, Nick Jonas is immature as fuck, too, I'm sure. But I feel like Nick Jonas, at least, like, I've seen him in a suit. He's a good-looking man. Justin Bieber, it's like you're still on the fucking, like, the baggy clothes and the beanies and the smiley faces and fucking, like... He's got a, the wardrobe of a six-year-old. So for that reason, Nick Jonas would get would get, uh, would get get to fuck me, I guess. <laughs> um, during sex, would you rather be blindfolded or handcuffed? Literally don't care. Like, I'm not into all that. I want to do it to you. I don't want to fucking handcuff me, sure. You're going to suck my dick and I can't use my hands to... Like, who cares? Would you rather shower with a model or your high school crush? My high school crush, I kind of already hooked up with. My high school crush was my first girl, girlfriend ever. She was the fucking, to this day, man, one of the prettiest girls at, at the school. So, like, I'd rather shower with her. Hey, if you want to shower again, hit me up. You know, let's fucking, or no, okay, or a model, actually. Fuck. Because a model, that could be, like, anyone. Um... I'd probably go with a model. Actually, fuck it. Because I've already done the high school one. Um, or somewhat done the high school one. Would you rather have a threesome with your girlfriend and her sister or your girlfriend and your cousin? Like, what the fuck? They're literally putting, like, incest or normal. I would take my girlfriend and her sister. What the fuck? Especially, well, I'm not going to say that. Um, would you rather sleep with a girl with big titties or a big ass? That's literally the question. Um, and big ass. I don't like boobs that much. Like, you, you know how fucking uncomfortable it is for a guy when you're on top of me and I have these like eight pound weights on my chest? I've broken my ribs like three times. I don't want to fucking keep breaking them, you know? Um, would you rather make out with a priest or a married woman? Isn't a priest a guy? I don't know. I'd take the married woman, I guess. 
priest is like an old man, isn't it? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Don't go to church often, so sorry. But, yeah, I would go to the married woman. It's only making out. Her husband will fucking get over it, right? Um, sleep with your ex or masturbate. 100% sleep with my ex. Again, if any of you guys want to fucking give it a second shot, let me know. We don't have to date, but we could just kind of have sex a little bit. Any of my exes, you know, I'm fucking always down. Again, it's about turning the emotion switch off. Like, we didn't work out as a fucking relationship, but we had great sex. So let's enjoy something, right? Let's let's enjoy the sexual part of it. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe that's fucked up, but I'm able to do that. I could look someone in the eyes while I'm fucking them that I know I've dated and I know I've been in love with and I could just look at it and appreciate it as fun sex. Will I cry a fucking week later? Probably, but it's worth it, you know? Um, would you rather walk around? This is such a weird question. Would you rather walk around with an erection from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. or never be able to have an erection from 6 p.m.? to 6 a.m. Who the fuck thinks of that? Okay, so it's either I'm rock hard all day at work and fucking... Um, or I can't have sex at night, is it? I guess I'm going to have to be rock hard at work. And I wear skinny jeans, so you're going to know I'm rock hard. I can fucking move it over to the side. I could try to put it like right underneath my belt so it kind of looks like it goes with like my waist. But... I'll just have to wear baggy shirts and just every time I look at someone, I'm going to kind of want to fuck them, but, and it's probably going to do a toll on my, my, my mental game. But yeah, I, I, you know what? The question is, could you even get horny after that? Like, cause eventually now I'm horny every day. I start getting horny by like, oh my God, that t-shirt's red. Holy shit. That's so hot. Like you just start to, it would fucking warp your brain. So I don't know, but I guess I'd have to go with that one. Um, Ice cubes or whipped cream during sex? Uh, I know that the only thing I've really liked doing, like taking an ice cube, putting it in your mouth and like running it down the girl's body or the guy or the non-binary, whatever the fuck you're into, um, I know that it's fucking hot. Like I'm not really into do, like a girl doing it to me, but I know that like having an ice cube like all around your vagina for a girl, I know because I've fucking done it to someone and I've seen their reactions, uh, that's that's like really hot and whipped cream it's like gross because now you're like now your mouth is sticky you know when you fucked for like 45 minutes or you've been hooking up for a while and you're making out and you're using a lot of your saliva and your mouth gets so fucking dry that you're like need to grab a water bottle imagine that but it's dry and it tastes like food then it's like molding in your mouth and it's like nah I'm not into that so the ice cube all the way um, would you rather your special one calls you daddy or baby? This is really interesting because a girl just asked me, how do you like, like, do you like being called daddy in bed? Here's my opinion. First of all, no, because I'm not your fucking dad and I don't want to pretend to be your dad while I'm fucking you because that's even more weird than anything else we could call each other. Um, also, I think that if you want me to call, or if you want to call me daddy, and I, and if I want that, it's because I'm not dominant enough to take control in bed. So I need you to like fantasize and call me some make believe name in order to like feel more aggressive and dominant over you. I think guys that like the whole daddy thing, I bet you they're shitty in bed, and I bet you that they're not that aggressive, or they're not that aggressive normally, and. They're like a bitch inside. I don't know. I think that's so lame. I'd rather you call me Ange, call me by my first name, call me babe. Baby's fine. Uh, but daddy? No. I'm not going to fuck someone and be like, hell yeah, mom. Like, that's so fucked. Like, why do we think it's fucked for a guy to call the girl mom, but it's not fucked for the girl to call the guy dad? It's like rapey. It's creepy. It's weird. And fuck that. And imagine, this is a touchy subject, but imagine the girls that have actually been raped by their fucking dad. How do you think they feel about that? They probably feel a little bit uncomfortable that you're going around thinking you could call everyone daddy and enjoy it when they've seen some fucking traumatic shit. So, 
not playing with that word. Um, as a straight male, would you rather watch lesbian porn or straight porn? Honestly, I'd rather watch straight porn. I can relate to it, you know? I can relate to a girl sucking a guy's dick. I can't relate to, like, two broads fucking scissoring. It's like it's hot, but again, I don't... Like, where am I in? Where am I fitting in here? I don't know. Um, I also love dirty talking, and that's only in, like, straight sex a girl's gonna dirty talk about a dick. You can't dirty talk about, like, anything when you're two lesbians. Like, you could dirty talk and a girl's going to get off to it, but not a guy. Um, I don't know. Some people probably do. Would I rather be a male prostitute or a pimp? I don't know what a pimp is. A pimp sells, like, hooks you up with a girl and, like, you sell the idea of sex. Like, I, if I have, like, ten girls, you can fuck one of them if you pay me a hundred bucks or whatever. I don't know. I'd rather just be a male prostitute at that point. I'd rather make money and get to fuck people than make money for like wheeling and dealing, you know? But also maybe I get to, f no, I don't know. I'd rather be a male prostitute. I don't even understand the question, but that's what I do. Okay, this is a good one. Maybe a good one to end on. Would you rather have sex when you're drunk or sex when you're stoned? I've kind of done both. I've had sex when I was, well, have I? Yeah, I actually fucking have. I wasn't proud of it, but I had sex when I was high and this is fucked. Oh, I'm going to save that story for a different time because that's a good story. But basically, I've had sex when I was high and I was more scared than I was turned on because I was like, what the hell's going on? Am I hard right now and all this? I'll tell that story a different day. But I could at least, I knew that I was fucking my girlfriend. And like, we were we were having sex and it lasted and I know it was hot. But inside, I was kind of like like second guessing if everything was even happening. But at the end of the day, on paper, yes, we had good sex. When I tried to have sex and I was drunk, I couldn't get hard. I was embarrassed. I felt like like I let this person down. I was thinking, oh my God, she's going to fucking judge me and never want to like go, go go out ever again. So I would take I would take having sex when I'm high over having sex when I'm drunk because I literally couldn't have sex when I was drunk. So... Yeah. And also I worry about like, what if you throw up? What if I throw up? Like alcohol isn't great in your body, like regardless. And now you're like making fast fucking motions with your body. So I don't know. Um, I guess that's it for these. Um, I think I did like 40. Let's see if there's any good ones. Maybe one last one. Okay. Would you rather have sex with someone with a bushy pubic area or someone with a clean shaven? Now, I know all the old heads, all the fucking boomers and baby boomers and all you guys, you guys appreciate hair and that's fine. But like the new gen, we don't fuck with that. Like I, w I will wax my fucking whole body rather than letting myself grow out for my own personal, like, I don't want to fucking be hairy. You know, I have hairy ass legs. And as a matter of fact, I'm in my underwear right now. So you could fucking see them. Um, there's my bony ass knees. <laughs> I, uh, I have hairy legs from being an Italian and I don't really like it. And I, I've tried to like trim them, but it's just kind of, I've accepted it. But for my dick and my fucking ass, all of that, it's got to be like clean shaven. If I'm, if I'm having a girl over or fucking like if I'm going to even have a chance at like we're cuddling or whatever, I have to be clean shaven because I don't want like it doesn't look good. And also for all the guys with small dicks out there, if you just shave, it makes it look a little bit better. And when you have a big dick, it makes it look fucking awesome. But when you have a small dick, you need all the help you could get. If you have an inch of hair and a two inch dick, now your dick looks like it's one inch. At least shave it clean and now you can see the whole two inches, you know. Also, I'm praying for you guys. Shoot, Keep shooting your shot and don't let the small dick fucking ruin things. Because at the end of the day, girls don't really care. It's more about do you treat them right? Are you funny? Do you guys get along? Unfortunately, yes, you got to work on your foreplay. But for all the small dick guys out there, listen... Make foreplay your game. Sex isn't your thing, but foreplay is great. Like, focus on other things. Be self-aware enough to say, hey, look, I'm not great in bed. I can't fuck well, but I'm great at eating pussy, and I've studied vagina enough to understand how to make you finish with my hands. Like, there's other ways. So don't fucking, don't be down, you guys. Just 
figure it out a different way. Um, on that note, I, I'm going to end this episode. I fucking love these episodes. I love talking about this shit. And I like answering these questions because they're so weird. And I think that they're relatable because everyone's going to have their opinion on which one they're going to pick. Um, maybe I'll do a part three in the future. I think next weekend I'm having two of my girlfriends on the show, not literally girlfriends, friends who are girls, uh, Morgan and Kaylee. They're fucking, they're like me. If I was a female, they're fucking raunchy. They're funny as fuck. They're no filter. It's going to be a great episode that should be posting next week. Um, if not the weekend after one or the other until then have a great fucking week. Happy Memorial day. And I'll see you next week.